Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to divide polynomials using long division and we are only going to work on these three problems and leave the last one for you to try. But before we start let me remind you something. Uh, division of integers. Uh, suppose you have a, b and c all belongs to the set of integers. a divided by b is only equal to c if and only if b is a factor of a. This implies that b can divide a exactly c times without remainder. But what if b is not a factor of a? You're going to obtain something like a divided by b equal to c plus a certain remainder out of the divisor which is b. In this case, b is not a factor of a. And also, this can be written as cb plus r, where a right here is the dividend, b right here is the divisor, C right here is the quotient and R here is the remainder. So if you multiply C and R over B by B, you're going to obtain something like this. So you can either write your result in this form or in this form. So if you divide a polynomial without remainder, you're only going to obtain the quotient. But if there is a remainder, you either write it in this form or in this form. So now let us start with our problem. Number one, we have x squared plus 8x minus 1 divided by x plus 4. To divide this using long division, where our quotient will be written here, the dividend will be written here, and the divisor will be written here. So let's start. Our divisor is x plus 4 and our dividend is x squared plus 8x minus 1. But make sure to write it in general polynomial, reducing the powers of x by 1 after the constant. So this one we have all the possible powers 2, 1 and 0. So we're going to write it in full. We have x squared plus 8x minus 1. So in conducting this division, we're only going to use the first term here, which is x, and divide it through by the first term here, all right? So we want to find out how many times can x go into x squared. It can go there x times. So you write the x to the top. So let me write it here, x. Then you take this x right here and multiply by this divisor, which is x plus 1, and write it just beneath here. So we have x times x, which is going to give us x squared. Then x times 4 is going to give us 4x. Draw a line and subtract. You can subtract from left to the right. I think it's even better. You know that x squared minus x squared will give us 0. So you move to the next terms. We have, okay, this should be 4x, sorry. 8x minus 4x will give us 4x. You know, naturally, here we have just 0 because we want to write it in general polynomial. Minus 1 minus 0 is just minus 1. We continue with our division. We take the first term here as well, which is this x, and divide it through this uh, 4x. It can go into 4x just 4 times. Then you add plus 4. Then take this 4 again and multiply by this divisor, which is x plus 4. 4 times x is 4x, write it just beneath here, 4x. Then 4 times 4 is 16, plus 16. You subtract again. By subtracting, you have 4x minus 4x, which is 0. Then minus 1 minus 16 is going to give us 
minus 17. But if you observe, x can no longer go into negative 17, therefore you stop. So what is our result? Our result will be equal to the quotient, which is always to the top, x plus 4. Then plus the remainder, which is negative 17, negative 17, out of the divisor, which is also x plus 4, x plus 4. Four. But if you like, I told you, you can write it in this form, which is CB plus R, where C is the quotient, B is the divisor, and R is the remainder. So we're going to obtain something like this, X plus 4, multiplied by X plus 4, then minus 17. This is just the result after dividing x squared plus 8x minus 1 by x plus 4. Now let us take the next one, which is x to the power of 3 plus 5x minus 6 divided by x minus 2. All right, here is our problem number 2. This is number 2. Let us form our division sign. The dividend will be inside, which is x to the power of 3 plus 0x squared, because I told you you have to write it in full. So we have x to the power of 3, plus 0x to the power of 2, then plus 5x, then minus 6. This is the general polynomial. Then the divisor will be x minus 2. All right. We take x here and plug it into x to the power of 3. It can go there x squared times. Then take this x squared, multiply by your divisor, starting from the first term, x squared times x will give us x to the power of 3. Then x squared multiplied by negative 2 will give us negative 2x squared. You can complete the rest, plus 0x plus 0. You subtract. From the left-hand side, x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 3 is 0. Then 0x squared minus minus 2x squared will give us positive 2x squared. So we have positive 2x squared. Then 5x minus 0 is 5x. Negative 6 minus 0 is negative 6. We continue with our division. x into 2x squared will give us 2x. We write it to the top. Plus 2x. Then take 2x and multiply by the divisor and write it just beneath this expiration. 2x times x will give us 2x squared. Then 2x multiplied by negative 2 will give us negative 4x. You can complete the rest. We have plus 0. Then we subtract as well. From the left-hand side, we have 2x squared minus 2x squared. That will give us 0. Then second times we have 5x minus minus 4x. That will give us 5x plus 4x, which is 9x. So we have 9x here. The minus 6 minus 0 is minus 6. We're almost done. Repeat the same process. Take this x, plug it into 9x. It can go there 9 times. So we write 9 to the top plus 9. Then take 9 and multiply by the divisor, which is x minus 2. 9 times x is 9x. Then 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. Then we subtract from the left-hand side. 9x minus 9x is 0. Then negative 6 minus, minus 18 is this, the same thing as 18 minus 6, which is positive 12. So we write positive 12 here. And we are done. We can now see that, let me copy this as well. You can now see that x to the power of 3 plus 5x minus 6 divided by x minus 2 is equal to the quotient, which is written to the top, x squared plus 2x plus 9, x squared plus 2x plus 9. Then you add, the remainder is what, 12 out of 
the divisor which is x minus 2 uh, if you like you can write it in the other way you multiply your divisor by the quotient that is x minus 2 then multiply by x squared plus 2x plus 9 then you add the remainder which is 12 so either this or this means the same thing and let us take the last one all right here is number three our dividend is x to the power of four plus three x to the power of three we don't have x to the power of two so you replace it with zero x to the power of two then plus x then minus one all right, then our divisor, which is x to the power of 3 plus 2x plus 1. But we are going to write it in general polynomial because you see power of 2 is missing. So we have x to the power of 3 plus 0 to the power of 2, then plus 2x, then finally plus 1. Then we repeat the same process. We take this and plug it into x to the power of 4. Always use the first times first time here and the first time here x to the power of 3 can go into x to the power of 4 just x times take this x multiply by the whole of this uh, divisor we have x times x to the power of 3 will give us x to the power of 4 then x times 0 x to the power of 2 will give us 0 x to the power of 3 right then x times 2 x will give us 2 x squared then we have a x times 1 is just x all right then you can add 0 to the end if you so wish you subtract from the first times x to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is 0 3 x to the power of 3 minus 0 will be 3 x to the power of 3 then 0 x to the power of 2 minus 2 x to the power of 2 will give us negative 2 x to the power of 2 then x minus x is 0 we can write it as 0 x then negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1 we repeat the same process x to the power of 3 into 3 x to the power of 3 will give us just 3 right so we say plus 3 here then take 3 and multiply by the whole of these terms. 3 multiplied by x to the power of 3 will give us 3x to the power of 3. 3 times 0x squared will give us 0x squared. 3 times 2x will give us 6x. Then finally, 3 times 1 is 3. You subtract. From the first terms, we have this minus this is 0. Then negative 2x squared minus 0x squared is just negative 2x squared. Then 0x minus 6x will give us negative 6x. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. But observe that the degree here, which is 3, is higher than the degree here, which is 2. Therefore, you cannot longer divide. You stop here. So we conclude. What we have is x to the power of 4 plus 3x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 divided by x to the power of 3 plus 2x plus 1. This is equal to uh, the quotient, which is x plus 3. Then multiply by the divisor, which is uh, x to the power of 3 plus 2x plus 1 then plus the remainder which is uh, negative 2x squared minus 6x minus 4 and this is the result of dividing x to the power of 4 plus 3x to the power of 3 plus x minus 1 by x to the power of 3 plus 2x plus 1 if you like you can try to factorize it but we are not factoring here we're just showing how to divide using long division. And this is all I have for you today. You can check the last one 
for you to try, which is um, 4x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus 3x. Thank you for watching. Do like, comment, and share. Bye-bye.